Sometimes we have to have difficult conversations with people who we care about. For example, you might notice some things seem a little off about relatives and their health. Yeah, it's a delicate subject mm -hmm. to broach, but handling the conversation with care can make a significant impact on that loved one's well-being. Since February is Heart Health Month, we thought this would be a good time to discuss the topic with Blanca Cobb. Yes, Blanca, who has a master's degree in psychology, she's here with us today to talk all about it. So, Blanca, let's get right to it. What's the best way to start a conversation? like this. When you start a conversation with a relative, you want to make sure that you're coming from a place of empathy, concern, and tell them what you're noticing, but be very specific. Say, hey, I'm noticing X, Y, and Z, or I'm noticing that you're, you're running out of breath when you're going up the stairs. It's concerning me a little bit. Is it something we could talk about? So you just want to be very specific because if they just hear broad statements, they might shut you out because they don't see what you're seeing, but it, the more specific it can B, and explaining your observations, the more likely they're willing to talk to you about it. It's hard when the other person perceives that you are blaming him or her for the medical or health situation he or she is in. How do you handle that? Yeah, you're absolutely correct on that. You want to avoid blame. You want to avoid accusations. Well, if you didn't eat so much then, or if you didn't drink so much, then this wouldn't happen, whatever it is. You want to make sure you're very careful with that. Instead, use I statements because when you use an I statement, you're talking about your perspective and it tends to decrease that defensiveness because they get the sense that you're really coming from this from a good place instead of you, you, you. Mm -hmm. Blanca, you're also a body language expert. What about body language? Mm -hmm. How do you use that in the conversation? If you're coming from a place of empathy and concern, then your body language will follow suit. This means you're gonna have open body language. You're gonna have a, a gentle look when you're looking at them, gentle eye contact. Your facial expressions are gonna be on the softer side. Your tone of voice is gonna be gentle. It isn't gonna be angry or sound accusatory or defensive. Your arms, a lot of people are not sure what they do with their arms. This is a time that you just wanna make sure that they're by your side and they're relaxed. Even though this may not necessarily be true, but it is the perception for a lot of people, crossed arms does give the impression that you are coming across a defensive. Mm. So you want to be very careful of that. And again, it is the perception. Blanca, this is great information mm -hmm. for really a lot of situations yeah. in life, just those communication skills that are so important. Thank you so much. All right, you can connect with Blanca on Facebook, Blanca Cobb, body language expert. We'll be right back. It's 916.